Hi folks, today I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about the buy supply uh, switch. Uh, I made uh, some research with it and found out that the buy supply switch it doesn't really usable with, uh, without a case. So uh, you kind of just mount it somewhere around it the case. So what I wanted to do is put the switch inside the Pi box. What we've got here is a mod by Pi case and I wanted to find a place where to put it inside the case where to fit well and I found out that here somewhere would be a nice place to to fit inside the case. So here right next to the HDMI what I need to do is get rid of this uh, USB female adapter and uh, I put wires in place of it. These wires will go into the GPIO pins to the Pi and uh, you may re recognize that uh, I've put the switches, the switches should be in this side of the board but I, I've, I've soldiered it in the back side so it will fit to the case like so and if I put the whole thing together you can get the idea it, it will be oh sorry something like this okay the wires now yes something like this so I need to uh, make some modification in the case. So I had to cut a hole here. As you may see with this jigsaw or how you call it. It was a bit tricky to, to cut out but it worked quite okay. The other thing was I drill this hole to make the the LED and the switches and the holes to the to the screws. Okay, so what you can see here is that I uh, mounted the switches and the uh, and the LED in the back side of the board. The hard off switch should be placed like here, but I wanted to buy. Uh, smaller form factor with smaller button you will not push it with an unfortunate touch what I'm going to do is just cut the top of the switch what else and the other thing is what I do not really like in this in this uh, switch is that is this capacitor the capacitor is 20, 220 microfarads. I don't know if it's visible visible on the camera, uh, which is which is way too big for this unit. This capacitor holds the the Pi in under power for three more minutes than it's expected. So what I want want to do now is to replace this 220 microfarad capacitor with a smaller one. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor. And this will, uh, will be good for some seconds. And this is for three, more than 3 minutes, so it's too much. The other thing I wanted to show you is that this board is, is advertised as it will be a perfect board for beginners but I do not think so. You may see here that these pins are so close together and there are small so close pins it's very hard for beginners to to make it uh, separate do not uh, let them soldier together so I do not recommend this for beginners. How does it fit together? the the 8 and the 7 pin 
is right here and uh, ground and uh, seven, 5 volts is here so when you when you put the plug in the power supply if, if and you turn on the unit it, it will power the, the pi with this cord and the other two cord is the keep on live and the soft off switch When the whole device is plugged together, it looks like this. So the power cord plugs here. Of course, here is nothing but the SD card. When I press the green button, the Pi starts up. Of course, I can every time shut it down with the hard uh, shutdown. boots up normally. When I shut down from the software you can also see that the light goes off after some seconds. The Pi is powered down completely. When you have enabled the soft uh, shutdown from the uh, software from the system, the soft the stop button will also work. Immediately stop the system. The light will goes off. The operating system is down and now after some seconds the Pi is powered off. You may change the SD card or whatever you want and switch off switch on again if you want like to. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, bye bye.